Welcome to Opinium Analytics, the tool where you can manage your Amazon merchant account and save up to 80% of your time in listings optimization tasks, advertising or stock forecasting for Amazon Logistics, in addition to many other features. The two best features of the tool are the worldwide multi-account management and the automatic update of the hidden search terms. All this will increase the performance of your account. Your products will have much more visibility and will be more attractive to your buyers. Thanks to Opinium, you will see your sales grow. The first step to make will be a small structuring and grouping of our products in the organization section. Once grouped, we will do a keyword research for our products with the help of tools such as Keyword Tool or Sona, where we can analyze the relevance of our potential keywords. So we will be able to use the most relevant in Amazon. With the study of keywords, and the organization defined, we will use it to improve our product sheet and make them more relevant to the Amazon positioning algorithm, as well as making them easier to find for our clients. Having your products with titles, images, bullet points and descriptions complete and optimized, and with the keywords defined, we are now ready to promote our catalog. For this, we will use the groups, categories and keywords that we have previously defined in the organization section for the activation of campaigns on Amazon. With the results we're getting from campaigns, the tool will search for the best keywords to put them in the hidden search terms section of each product, as well as give you recommendations to improve your campaigns and listings. Thanks to all this, we will see how our sales in Amazon increase and our costs decrease. In this section, we will register into Opinion Analytics and link our seller account. We have two methods, with the form or with our Amazon account. For this tutorial, we will use the form. First of all, we will set our name, surname and company name. Select if we are a seller or an agency. And we will accept if we wish to receive newsletters of opinion and the terms and conditions of the service. In this section, we will link our Amazon seller account with Opinium Analytics. If you are the seller administrator, you will select the marketplace. Enter an indicative name for your account. And by clicking on this button, Amazon will guide you through a series of forms to link your account with Amazon. And if you are not the administrator, we select the marketplace. Send this link to the administrator of the account. And the administrator will provide us the seller ID and the MWS token. Our account is already linked. Now we just have to wait a few minutes for it to collect our information. Meanwhile, we can proceed to link our Amazon advertising account. In this section, we only have to enter the credentials of the Amazon account with advertising management permits. Once entered, our account will be ready to work. Once our account is linked, all our products will appear in Opinion. It is important to have done a study of the market and our competition. So, once we are in the organization section, we can start to create our groups and categories. As you can see, in this section we have already created some groups for our account. We will organize our products through groups which will be composed of categories and in which we will put our keywords. These groups can be converted to campaigns later, where a group is a campaign and the category is an ad group in Amazon. Now I'm going to teach you how to create a new group. Within this section, we can both create a new group or import a campaign created in Amazon. We create a group associated to our seller.
we create a category within the group. And within the category, we can link the products and associate keywords. We will choose these keywords by helping us with tools such as Sonar Tool or Keyword Tool. Our products are heads. We are going to define a series of keywords of different types. As you can see, we can create them in phrase, broad and exact mode. We will also see that we have the organic type, whose words of this type will only be used for CEO optimization and will not be used in campaigns. In this section, we can see and optimize the titles, bullet points, and descriptions of our listings, along with the rest of the information. And we can also apply both filters and sortings that best suits us in the table. By holding the Shift key, we can even apply multiple sortings. To edit titles, bullets, and descriptions, we have two options. Individually, clicking on the corresponding boxes marked in grey or in mass. Here we can see how to edit a title individually. Clicking on this button, we can establish the same title that has already been published on Amazon, in case we want to use it as a base. And with the other, we can put all the words with the first letter in uppercase as recommended by Amazon. Right below, we can see the keywords that this product has associated in organization and we can click to use them in the title. We must keep in mind that we should not repeat keywords in the title and bullets since space is limited and having them repeated does not benefit in the positioning. The bullet points work much like a title and in the description we have an HTML creation tool to enrich our descriptions and make them more attractive and easy to read. In addition, we can also edit our titles bullets and descriptions in massive way. So those changes will be applied to all of them at the same time. For this, we can apply filters in general or from the table, so that only the products that we want to modify appear in the table. We can also use the boxes on the left to mark them. Once the products are filtered, we use the mass editing tool. Here we have several functions that we can perform, such as mass establishing, for example, to put the same heading to a same product line, and then adding the information that differentiates them later. In Add, it allows us to add to all the titles the text in front or behind. And with Replace, we can look up for a text and replace it with another one, also in a massive way. For bullets and descriptions, we have similar functions, as you can see. When we finish editing our listing, we can upload our changes to Amazon. We can select a specific account to upload the changes or we can upload all changes at once. Here in the advertising section we can see the data of our campaigns and also create new campaigns and ad groups using the structure that we have created in the organization section. In the box that is shown to us we will put our seller, marketplace, group created in the organization and the name that the campaign will have. We select manual or automatic, depending on the type that interests us. We establish a daily budget and then click on next. In this table, we can see the current categories that will be activated as ad groups. We can include the ones we want. And with this, our campaign will be created. In a few minutes, it will be active and visible on Amazon Seller Central. Clicking on the name of the campaign we can see its data as well as its ad groups, and in them 
the associated products and their keywords. Hidden search terms are automatically generated once a day using the tags you have set up for a category. And in their products, they are calculated by removing the possible repetitions that may be in a title and ballots. And using the results of these taxing campaigns, we will assign them a performance. And in this way, use the more relevant keywords that haven't been used yet. If you want to add new keywords, but you don't want to use them in campaigns, you can add them in organization with organic match type. If after using all the words you have configured, there's still a space to add more hidden keywords, we will use recommendations that haven't been approved yet. In the recommendation sections, we have different tools to improve the optimization of our account. We have recommended keywords generated from search terms that have conversion. And by clicking on the assign category, we can choose between our available categories and assign the search term as a phrase keyword. Once assigned, we will click on Accept Changes. In the Negative Keywords tab, we can see all search terms that have generated expense and have not converted, along with information such as impressions, clicks or CTR. Clicking on the checks on the left, we can select all those search terms that we want to add as an exact negative match keywords. And we will click on Accept Changes to assign them in the categories in which they are found. And finally, in the tab of Products to Promote, we will have all those products with sales that are not active in any campaign. Opinion Analytics also has a tool for forecasting shipments to Amazon Logistics. First, we select our seller account. Next, we check if we have Pan-European Inventory active. Then, we select all countries to include. And, we establish the range of dates to cover for the forecast. If we wish, we can establish a forecast of sales increase and a minimum amount of stock to send per product. Now, you just have to click on the Export to CSV button and a CSV file will be downloaded. In the file, we will eliminate the products with quantities to be sent to zero or negative, and we will use the rest to elaborate our creation file of the shipping plan.